Hello, uh, so this is a tutorial that's going to show us how to actually add to our mobile application iOS and Android the capability of connecting using Cognito users, Amazon Cognito users and uh, we don't want to code any screen inside the application so we're only going to use a hosted UI so first of all we're going to go to AWS console and then once we log into AWS console we are going to go straight to Cognito we're going to go to manage user pool uh, make sure that we are in the correct region in my case I'm in Canada so I'm using Canada uh, central one so first create a user pool we're going to call it my app users so it's my app users I'm gonna review default not gonna change anything create user pool and then after that we're gonna go to app client setting and from app current settings we're gonna go to summary and we're going to add an app client app and app client and the app client name will be my app client and i'm gonna scroll down and i'm going to uncheck the generate client secret because i'm only gonna have one app client and then create app client so I can see right away that I have my client ID that I'm gonna need after that uh, when I'm going to create the uh, applications uh, the mobile application I will need to specify which client ID I'm actually using and the other thing I'm going to need it's a domain name so I'm going for now using the domain name from Amazon Cognito so I'm going to call it Mo mobile mobi as in mobile and uh, save change it went fine so the other thing that I need to do I need to say that uh, this client my app client is using Cognito user pools. I also need to specify which callback that I'm going to be using inside the client's app. In this case, it's going to be, for example, my app client. This is my app actually, so you know that it has nothing to do with the actual name of the client. So my app and callback. So this is the callback, at least they're going to be used from the mobiles. And same thing here can be something else but I want to use the same my app but this time I want to call sign out just to make sure that I don't keep this space right here and allowed our flows I'm going to check authorization code grant email open ID connect and profile probably the most important is the open ID connect open ID sorry we are going to save change so now that uh, I am done I can actually test it by using this hosted UI let's just click right here so it's fine it's, it's working I can log in I can click on uh, forgotten password and sign up but the only thing that I want to add for the sake of the tutorial I want to actually show my logo right here so let me go back here and this is done UI customization yes okay so this is done <laughs> this is done in the uh, UI customization you just choose a file and the file that I'm gonna use for my logo is this one and uh, save change so let's uh, give it a go launch hosted UI nice so I have my logo and I still have my form to log in right here so after that you have to follow the next tutorial when I'm going to show how to connect using iOS and then Android 
Uh, welcome to the second part of the tutorial on how to connect to Amazon Cognito uh, using OpenID Connect from a mobile iOS app. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to Xcode and we're going to create a new project. Let's just uh, use the first uh, template and we are going to call this iOS app so this is the iOS app client and we are going to save it right here ok so right now I have basically a blank uh, app first thing I am going to do is just that I am going to add uh, a pod file. So I'm going to add a pod file where I'm going to be able to put my uh, dependencies. So there is an empty file here. And let's call this, we have to call this pod file. Let's save it here. Let's go ahead and actually put our dependencies in this pod file. So this is all you need. So uh, you need to go into the folder where you have your project. In here, ls. So here's my pod file, as you can see. So I just need to type pod install. Assume you already have the pod installed in your computer, by the way. And I mean the pods, I'm talking about the Cocoa pods. So now I have my dependency installed. So what I need to do after that is to reopen the project. So right now <coughs> I actually opened the project but I want to open the workspace. Actually I'm going to close the project first and then I'm going to open the workspace. So here it is the workspace. Notice right now that I have this project right here and I have also this project, the CocoaPods, which is part of the workspace. This file actually doesn't need to be here because it is the same as here, so I can just delete the reference. This is very important for of this file on the top as I don't need it. So now I need to go to the app delegate and inside the app delegate we are going to configure slash initialize the amplify sdk so to do this i'm going to paste this code first of all the amplify sdk will be configured like this and we also need to import the amplify sdk and import the amplify plugin so at this point, my project should be able to build. Uh, we are going to go to the main storyboard. And in the main storyboard, we are going to create a control that is going to allow, allow us to connect, to sign in, to sign out, and also uh, be able to tell if we are sign in or sign out. So the first thing I'm going to do is to add a control. The control is going to be a button. And the button will be on the, it can be in the middle really, I'm going to put it on the top, I think it's nicer. That's usually where you find the login, logout buttons. So, it's going to be on the top right. And by default we are going to write uh, login. Okay, and we will need to connect this to the corresponding view controller. So I'm going to control drag. Here is going to be a login button as an outlet. And also I'm going to add control drag. This time it's going to be an action, it's going to be touched, touched uh, login, for example. Ok, 
okay all right so after that uh, what we want to do is that when we actually launch the application we want to be able to check if the application is already sign in or sign out so in order to do this paste this function right here so this function actually will just allow us to initialize uh, the AWS mobile SDK which is part of the Amplify SDK I need to import first uh, the Amplify SDK should do and if it doesn't I'm going to import the specifically the AWS mobile client alright so also I'm going to close this windows but I, because I don't think I'm going to need it anymore and so right now once the application start we're going to call application view did load and then because we call view did load we're going to actually initialize the mobile SDK client we also need to define this uh, to do that I'm just going to paste this code right here so basically this is a code that actually check if I'm signing in and if I am signing in, actually the username of the sign in user and if I'm not it will show the login string I also need to define this one I'm going to paste this code right here basically uh, this is a closure that's going to be called and basically this is a short version of this one so the other function that we will need to define is sign in and sign out so let's start with sign out so sign out is basically uh, amplify putting the sign out and then on completion you're just going to uh, refresh whatever is inside the button that we have defined right here for as a, for the login we're just going to paste this code so this one is pretty much the same thing so we are going to call sign in with web UI don't forget we are we are trying to log in using a hosted UI and then at the end again we are going to refresh the button depending on what it is that the new statue that we have all right so then again what I'm going to do is in this case if the user actually touch the login button I want to see if the user is sign in then I think this is a function call like this if it is sign in then we are going to show logout otherwise we are going to show sign in so with that said I think we should be correct for this file now we need to add obviously the configuration of the specific cognitor that we are trying to connect to so for this I need to define to add two files I will need to add uh, the amplify uh, configuration JSON and I also need to add, to add the AWS config JSON so right let's start with the first file which going which is going to be the I'm going to use like an empty file to start with and this is going to be called amplify configuration JSON all right and then this JSON right here all right so what I want to do is to take this so this is actually inside my uh, console of AWS Amazon and we are in the user pool and this is the user pool that I'm trying to use if you come to the user pool you're gonna see the user pool ID so the user pool ID is actually defined in this place right here and now the application client is the one that we have defined which is this one and you can see uh, the client ID is this one that's going to be selected right here 
and uh, the other thing that is actually important is the callback so the callback I think it is defined it's defined settings right here okay so here we go so it's defined right here so this is a callback once I'm connected or whatever I do that's going to call back the application is going to call this one the only one that is di different is for the sign out and this is this one is right here so if I come here you will see that there are defined one here and one here uh, the web domain has also been defined before so all of this has been done in the previous tutorial where we, are, we were actually created this one so I urge you if you want to see how we do this just go back and see the first part of this tutorial but for now what I'm going to do I'm just going to duplicate this file and this one is going to be AWS configuration that JSON very, very important that the name is actually correct exactly the same content okay so the other thing that we also need to do is to go inside the info playlist and we want to add the schema like this so if I actually unfold this code the only thing that is actually important in this case is the my app the first part of the callback that is defined right here all right so let's uh, run and build and see how it goes okay here it is so basically show me the login because I'm not login which is expected so I'm going to click here to try to log in right away all right so you have this warning that said that you are trying to log into the Amazon .com, which basically represent this web domain that is right here and you say yes continue it's going to open the web view and inside the web view we should see the hosted UI exactly what I was expecting important I'm going to sign up so my user is going to be for example Muhaye1 because I know Muhaye has been used already Muhaye an exclamation mark done sign up okay so I did receive my verification code and 37 confirm account okay so you can see that I'm logged in with my username that I just created so if I want to sign out I just click again and now we have the sign out button yeah so I got sign out so now I know that uh, my application work so I'm going to leave uh, the link to the source code of uh, this tutorial to the description area